Okay, in this video, I am going to be installing a what they call a tow or flush valve um, on both engines of my Yamaha FX210. Mine happens to be a 2018, but it should apply for 2017 to 2020 models. And, um, and all these models listed here on the service manual. Um, basically, uh, there's three reasons I want to do it. If, and that is, A, if I have a single engine failure, I can close the valve off on the uh, damaged non-running engine and run the other engine full speed without worrying about swamping the engine that is not running because of uh, water from the pumps getting forced up through the engine without the engine running. So that's the number one reason I got it. The number two reason is if you are going to be leaving the ski in salt water. Uh, let's say you're taking a trip that's you know several days long and you're not going to be pulling the ski out. You can shut this valve off and flush your engine uh, without uh, the the with the engine running. The pumps are pumping salt water up into it, even if you're flushing it. So with this, it stops that water from the pumps coming up, and you can flush your ski and get all the salt water out of it. And the number three reason is if you have some sort of catastrophic failure where neither engine is running, you can shut both of them off and you can be safely towed in at you know whatever speed the other boat can pull you at. You don't have to worry about swapping both of your engines. So that's, that's the reasons for it. Um, real quick, I'll show you here in the book. Uh, basically, you have this. Um, it's a little hard to see here. Uh, it's a better picture of it, I believe, over here. Um, you have a Y adapter. So coming in on one side is from the flush. Coming in here is from the jet pumps. And that's the water that runs throughout all of this and cools your engine and exhaust. So, um, and it's the same. Uh, this is for the 210 series. And if we go over here... This is the 212 series. You basically have the same setup. It might look slightly different than what my ski looks like, but um, you still have the Y adapter on these engines. And that's where you would install this at. So with that, let me show you my version. All right, here's everything you're gonna need. Um, a couple of wrenches for tightening your adapters into the uh, valve. Uh, ratchet for tightening your um, hose clamps. Uh, you're going to need some pliers that are fairly wide to get the clamp, the original Yamaha clamp off um, the Y adapter that's in there. It's it's kind of a pain to get off. Uh, some Teflon tape and you're going to need, um, again this is um, a dual engine so I double everything. If you're a single engine obviously you only need one of each. Um, but uh, you need, for each engine, you need uh, two 5 8 by half inch adapters, which are these, a uh, half inch valve, and two stainless steel hose clamps. Make sure they're stainless steel. And um, basically, you uh, put your Teflon tape on your adapters and tighten them in. Uh, I like to keep the Teflon tape away from the ends. Don't want anything, uh, don't want any little pieces you know, coming out of there and getting sucked into the engine. And um, before anybody asks about, this is the actual piece of pipe that I've already, or I'm sorry, tube that I've already cut out. You can see there's really going to be, uh, this is very, very tight. Uh, there's going to be literally almost no restrictions whatsoever. In fact, it's probably less restrictive than the plastic fittings that Yamaha is using in there on this. So I don't think there's going to be any issue with water flow through this. So, uh, let's... all right. So uh, again, this is a Yamaha SX210. It's a 2018. Um, so let me show you where these are going to go. Actually, I have one installed already, and I'm not going to lie to you. It's not easy to get to. But if you come all the way back here, you can see I got it installed. Now the red hose coming in is from your flush point and where the valve is is the water coming the cooling water coming in from the jet pump so uh, that's where you want to put it 
so I have two of them. Let me go over here to this side. You can see I've already got this loose off the uh, off the Y adapter there. And uh, what you want to do is basically crawl back in here and give your engine a big old hug. Um, this goes pretty much straight back. Um, you can open up where the clean out ports are and take that center piece out. I can actually reach in here and grab this from behind. So you can actually just push this back. You don't have to cut it. I'm going to go ahead and cut some off of it just so I don't have to push too, so much of it back. But really it, it doesn't matter. Um, the, you, can, you can look back there and see that it, when you push it back it's basically just causing the, uh, the hose to bow a little bit. So no big deal. No, it's not going to crimp or anything like that. So you know, don't worry about that. Just move your little piece of protection here and make sure uh, it's not going to hit there. So. And that is one thing I forgot to mention. You will need something to cut this. I'm going to use a, um, uh, a cutter for PVC pipe, but it really works good on this. It cuts it uh, nice and straight and everything. I would not recommend using a knife. Uh, it's probably going to come out all crooked. Um, so let me, uh, let me grab all my tools and get back in here. And I want to get this clamp off too. Okay, so I cut off roughly four inches of hose. Let me show you what that looks like back here. All right, so the first side, I actually cut off more than that and realized I about had a problem trying to get it back on because uh, I would, well, I needed two people, someone inside and outside to hold the hose so I could push it on. But I got it. It'll be a little bit easier with if you leave a little bit more sticking out so you have something to hang on to when you're, uh, you're putting the uh, valve in. And also, uh, if you put a little dish soap on it, that helps as well uh, with sliding these hoses back on. So then I'm going to use this piece cut it down some and go ahead and get the one side on the valve and the other side is going to be going to the um to the y adapter down there and then i've got to get a barb in that back piece so all right so here's what i've done i got this piece of pipe i cut it down a little bit it's going to get slid on the uh the uh the uh y adapter down there and then i have the original yamaha clamp here ready to go then I went ahead and put the back clamp on right here and tightened it just, just to hold it in place while I get this on. I'm going to put a little uh, dish soap on this to uh, hopefully get it to slide in there. These are not easy to get in. And unfortunately, it is so tight back there, I am not going to be able to film this. Plus, it would just be a whole bunch of me huffing and puffing the whole time. So, um, let me, let me get right, this. Well, <laughs> I just messed up. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to let... Let you know what I did so you can avoid it. And I already knew not to do this, but I ended up doing it anyway. The handle has to be facing uh, towards the bow of the boat. If it is not, you can't turn it all the way off. It'll it'll stop. It's going to hit the uh, stern of the boat. So, um, you handle facing forwards. Because I tell you what, I put this on and then realized that's what I'd done. And these barbs, when they go into this hose, it is a nightmare getting it loose. So uh, I really cut myself up trying to uh, get it loose. It was not easy. So don't make that mistake. Handle. All right. I got the incoming side on, handle facing the right direction this time. And now you can see I pulled a little protective uh, sleeve up over the pipe there. And I'm just going to end up pushing this whole thing back and then put it on the little Y adapter here and then put the Yamaha um, original clamp back on the plastic fitting there and I'm pretty much done with this uh, except for tight making sure all my clamps are tight so uh, let me see if I can get that hose and clamp on uh, just a just a warning it's uh, those clamps are the the Yamaha ones that you got to squeeze to put on they're kind of a pain but probably all right got everything back in everything hooked up and good to go uh, just tighten up all the hose clamps and everything again make sure handle forward that sucks taking this thing back out it is not easy so uh, got both of them done and I bought everything to uh, to do them with at Home Depot the valves are not cheap everything's about it was about 50 bucks for um, all this you could probably get it cheaper somewhere else I just didn't feel like shopping around so uh, 
Anyway, I hope this helps you out if you're uh, thinking about doing it. Uh, this is one of two spots you could put these. You could put them uh, back here where the cleanouts are, uh, but then you would have to take that whole deck off back there, and that's siliconed in, and I just really did not want to break that seal. And knowing my luck, I'd break something, so uh, I chose inside here. Um, not super easy to get to, but not horrible either. I, I really don't think it's that bad. Uh, they're pretty accessible. So uh, I feel a lot more comfortable having this if I do have some sort of problem. I'm, I'm able to either run on one engine wide open or uh, shut them both off and get towed in uh, at you know whatever speed. It doesn't matter. So that, that makes me feel a lot better. I don't have to limp in. So hope this helps you out.